If you haven't heard or you don't already know, my son Brandon was bullied on more than one occasion last year in school. Like many parents, I trusted the school to protect my kid from violence and discrimination. That didn't happen. Instead of being protected, my son was ignored and often punished because he too trusted in the school to keep him safe. They failed him. They did nothing when he asked for help. He got suspended for defending himself against three different attackers. And to make matters worse, the school violated his privacy on graduation day and told an entire audience that he was being bullied, that he felt like the most hated kid in school, and how much he wished it would stop. The school later apologized for putting his emotions on public display. They called it an oversight. Well, here's my response. To C.H. Decker Elementary in Las Vegas, Nevada. You got me fucked up and confused with some lame ass parent who doesn't give a and is going to accept whatever bullshit excuse you have to expose and damage my son. Fuck you. Kids can't stand up for themselves, parents can't get involved to help resolve the issues, and you're not doing a damn thing to ensure the safety of our kids. Oh, and on a side note, I got that fake report you sent in the mail. Because I called you the biggest bully in school, you decided to open up an investigation against yourself and found yourself not guilty. What kind of dumb is that? My son is even more damaged than he needed to be because you refused to care and failed to pay attention. Trust me, I will not let this go. Parents, why are we waiting for bad things to happen before we take measures to protect our own kids? I was bullied as a kid. I regretfully even bullied a few kids myself. That's how it was growing up. That's not how it is now. Back then, we were allowed, encouraged, and even forced sometimes to stand up and defend ourselves. We were taught to fight our own battles and that sticks and stones may break our bones, but words would never hurt us. Like I said, that's how it used to be. The school your child is attending right now is training our kids to be weak and submissive. Run away, be a victim. Do not stand up for yourself. Let us fight your battles for you. If they do not follow these rules and whether they are bullied or not, they will be punished and possibly suspended. The simple point is this, the schools can no longer be trusted to protect our kids and we as parents need to stand up, pay attention, and get more involved in how our kids are being treated. The schools have proven over and over that they honestly don't give a shit. And as harsh as this may sound, I honestly feel that the connection between the school's incompetence and the increased number of school shootings and suicide isn't just a coincidence. Parents, there are so many agendas out there right now designed to protect people against discrimination. This should be the biggest agenda of them all. Our children are not safe and the schools would rather create policies that help them to avoid liability than to create real and actual bully prevention programs that teach our kids to report problems, get help, and defend themselves when absolutely necessary. Do I have all of the answers? Not even close. But I'm tired of feeling helpless. I'm done trusting the schools, and I refuse to wait until the last possible moment to be there for my kid. And with that, I have one final message. I hate bullies. Yes, hate is a very strong word, but being passive isn't working, and bullying other people, not just kids, is a choice. If you choose to be a bully, then I choose to exercise my right to hate your guts until you decide to change. I do not condone unnecessary violence and will not allow you, the bully, to endanger my family by saying and doing nothing. And now that I've said my piece, let me also be very clear. I love kids. I cannot hate kids, but I can and choose to hate the bully inside that kid. Why? Because unlike their victims, bullies have a choice. So yes, I hate bullies, but my only intention is to discourage kids from becoming bullies and to let the victims know that someone cares enough to share their pain. How much do you care?